Hey guys, it's your boy ready for some F2P action and for today's video we are gonna be reviewing Jean Grey and this is gonna be my first uh, in-depth uh, character review uh, for the first time. I have not, never done a character review. Uh, a guy a guy named uh, Anik Plays, uh, he commented that he would like to see some Jean Grey gameplay and I really appreciate that he commented and he paid attention and made me feel it made me feel really happy that all the work i'm putting into this videos and daily on a daily basis or a day or two whenever whenever i upload a video that's not a waste and i would like to see more of those kind of comments and your uh, participation and if you like um, just comment uh, whatever specific content you would like to see and i'll be working on it uh, straight away as uh, I just want to entertain you guys and I just want to share my feelings, my thoughts and my gameplay with my characters and hope uh, this helps you. So let's uh, continue with the uh, review. So Jean Grey, right? So she's uh, uh, honestly guys, she is uh, amazing. She's fantastic. She is a fantastic character and you can get her from uh, if you are playing this game for any of a while. So you would know. That you can get get it from the rise of x-men uh, epic quest in the rebirth of the phoenix you got to uh tier 2 these uh, all of these characters you got to finish the rise of the x-men epic quest and you gotta uh tier to these five of the characters and uh take them to unlock jean gray at one star tier to pass uh natively and uh, when she came to the game uh she was really the most overpowered character and the i would say the most uh, powerful character in the game she was there she was in the every game mode and uh, no matter what it is uh, alliance you name it alliance battle extreme mode or uh, world boss for shadowlands for timeline battle she was everywhere she was destroying the game and she really still is some people say that jean grey is not uh, so good uh, anymore as uh, you know, a uh, lot of characters like Strife uh, and Deadpool tier 3 is there to kill her. She can easily die and blah blah blah. I don't care what they say. Uh, for what I have seen, for what I have been doing with her, uh, she's amazing. She still is the best character in PvP and up to some extent in PvE for me. And I have uh, put uh, uh, so much love into her and uh, right into the details as you can see. Uh, she has uh, 48 almost 48 and a half uh, percent of cooldown duration which is good ignore defense 39 percent I'll show you why this is so low crit damage is 164 not so high not so low but still good crit rate is nice crit rate is 32 but uh, I would say uh, I'll tell you why crit rate you don't want you don't need to worry about the crit rate I'll see you uh, I'll tell you in a minute attack speed is one for uh, any attack speed over as i said earlier any attack speed over 110 or 109 percent is good so now the gears all are all gears are 20 for the urus uh, i have only put some hp urus and there's no energy attack urus or any other you know urus to build uh, build her up uh, quite well so i have not invested a lot in in her and she's still she i'm saying that she's the best pvp character for me so i'm gonna show you why i'm saying this uh look at the let's look at the skill the tier 2 passives uh like you get her native tier 2 she's already tier 2 at one star so you're gonna get this 70 percent chance to become immune to fire damage not so shabby and increase damage to skill damage by 50% increase bonus damage by 50% this is a really good buff i don't know if any character matches this buff because the skill damage and bonus damage by 50% most of the characters get on average like 25 30 or at most 40% so it is really nice to have it the first skill fire word is a partial iframe which is uh, uh, iframe at the start then it uh, the gene teleports to the other side of the enemy and then throw some uh, fire does some fire damage the second skill phoenix embrace does uh, has time freezing effect and as we know from the doctor strange the era the time freezing is very meta unless you have a debuff uh, leadership or debuff uh, buff for your team 
which is uh, really and and this is also a partial iframe which is really awesome the third skill is a full iframe not a it's not a very long iframe but it gives a lot of text there is a lot of text here so to enemies it uh, decreases all resistance by 30 percent and 20 percent to all defense it's just for third three seconds but uh, it's uh, durable and for all allies uh, notice that if you have a gene high gene in your team all allies when you do this uh, when you press the third skill all allies will get a super armor all de all defense buff for one second which i have seen refreshes over time and guard it against three seconds it's not just for two seconds after two seconds is it refreshes so for the entire duration the the third skill lasts the guard hit and super armor is there and it also has uh, recovery as you can see it recovers 3% of every 3% uh, hp every one second which is huge and i am saying it huge 3% is not a lot but uh, if you calculate the time the skill lasts for like uh, 9 or 10 seconds i believe so 9 of 10 seconds means uh, you can revive uh, i mean recover almost 30 to 30 to 40% depending on your recovery rate and uh, the max hp the hp you have so it's a good amount of HP recovery and it's amazing for the survivability and it does uh, in, uh, it continuously does damage. The fourth star passive when dead revive with 100% of max HP. Obviously, this is the Corvus has it. Doctor Doom as of now the latest uh, which revives and the revive is super meta. Is the so when you can make mistakes with Jean Grey and if, even if you die you have another life. Yeah awesome as it sounds the fourth skill i believe is the most damaging skill it is a full iframe it is uh, like uh, three or four seconds full i full of iframe and does tremendous damage uh, and combined with the fifth skill which gives him gives a uh, uh, all attack 45 percent all attack buff all speed 10 percent and crit rate by 45 percent 45 percent man crit rate is this uh, buff is hu huge 75 percent is the cap as you can see 45 percent and from my base stats 32 percent i already have so it will give me like 40 76 or 77 percent so i'm already over one or two percent from the cap that's why you, you don't need to worry about the crit rate which uh, and also the fifth skill gives her a uh, 80 percent chance to penetrate super armor barrier i mean everything all damage immunity even the enemy has invincibility she even in penetrates invincibility which is insane and if you combine like five into four if you do that and if you catch him catch the enemy in without iframe and uh, uh, with bare hands you can completely one shot him anyone even tier three deadpools you can at some point uh, and this is a really awesome thing i, have, I haven't uh, actually uh, you can type enhance her because she is only level 60 and in future if she gets a uniform i'll be damned and i'll be damn happy to see her in her maybe dark phoenix uniform or some something else for the iso site i have a uh, hawk size it's uh, stage 5 as you can see it's just a <laughs> i mean that's not an investment right hawk size i don't know if anyone needs hawk size uh, the only reason I have kept Hawksai is the uh, skill cooldown as you can see for on her gears she energy attack she doesn't have skill cooldown or ignore defense as a premium stat so it, she does has ignore defense uh, as a second stat but I have this here so as you can if you get uh, overdrive or power of angry hulk I'll say overdrive is the best uh, set for her but power of angry hulk is also good so I have put ignore defenses so so the ISO set Hawksai giving my uh, gene, you can see 7.3% cooldown duration which is uh, which is helpful if you have low cooldown. The custom gear, I have uh, built my gene for PvP or uh, from the start. I haven't uh, put any like CTV of energy or CTV of, some people say CTV of destruction is the best for her, best for her because of the penetration. She always has the penetration but I think the if you can get a... Uh, obelisk with the like if you say guard break immunity recovery rate and a five uh, five second invincibility that it will be awesome but this uh, uh, obelisk i have it for like uh, a long time now uh, since i built her and still i'm using this one and this works really fine with me 
so enough talk uh, let's take uh, her into some gameplay and first thing i am gonna be test uh, showing you in timeline metal the main purpose why she's built i would show you in the real them uh, the my recommended rest uh, restriction character list but she's banned this week so i can't use her so i'm gonna be showing you with my uh, alliance list i have some friends uh, i believe where is he uh, wait a minute friends list yeah this john silver uh, this guy she uh, he has scarlet uh, thanos level 70 he's a pvp loving guy and he has the maybe the not if best if not the best build for the pvp characters so it will be nice to see and i'm taking i will be taking this team but i'll be trying to uh, show you the most you can do with the gene ray first i'm going to auto play gene here and then i'll show you what the difference is when using on manual so let's auto play this one and let's see how she does i personally never tried uh, auto playing her So, oh, she died. Yeah, I know. But now let me show you. So, I have only one one life left. And I have killed Scarlet. Now, here comes the Thanos. The big guy. As, uh, as you would know, Thanos is really amazing and really annoying. With the, this new uniform. And... Nova... So as you can see, Nova is uh, you can say timeline god, and she still uh, beat him easily. So so as you can see, she is amazing. And uh, let's try some other teams. Uh, let's go here. And uh, yeah, let's try this team: Strife, Deadpool, and Lit. This is <laughs> really annoying. As you know, Strife is really meta. I have uh, recently uh, level 60'd my Strife and uh, he's doing amazing with the guard break immunity. So let me show you how she does. So she died obviously. And here, see you do just 5-4 and everything is freaking dead. There's no hiding. And here comes the good old Deadpool. And you see, he's dead. Wanda. So as you can see, she is amazing in timeline battles. The play with manual, if you play him her manually, she is super annoying and super hard to be killed. Uh, for the PvE thing, uh, I'll be showing you some World Wars gameplay obviously the best place to uh, test a, uh, a character for his her capability or his capability the stage i think i'll start with 20 uh, stage 25 and i'll show you uh, i'm gonna be using she hulk colson and uh, yeah jean gray and we're gonna we are not gonna take any strikers so let's see if she can solo uh, stage 25 I haven't actually tried soloing with her. Uh, I've always used strikers, but this is my first review, so I want it to be a pure damage that uh, Jean can do. So let's do this now. And we get here, we switch to Jean. And you see. The time freezing is really helpful. You just do 5-4 uh, five combo is really amazing. It uh, just bumps uh, her, her damage really up. Okay.
ओके 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 डोंट किल मी मैन I'm gonna stop right here. As you can see, two minutes left and only four bars uh, there, so she can definitely do it. And now we're gonna be pushing uh, a little bit up. Uh, uh, let's try stage thirty here, and let's take uh, our strikers here. I think she's gonna need it. And if you use some strikers, she is uh, definitely. can clear high stages of uh, more also you can use her against a uh, black dwarf which uh, is because uh, she does energy damage and black dwarf uh, is uh, weaker to the energy damage so i hope we can pull this off so i didn't notice i think she has a uh, time freeze immunity but still as you can see ha uh, you can see, even if the boss has the time freeze immunity effects so you can still uh, clear and do some tremendous amount of damage i mean she got it all right even if the if the time freezing you got the 5 and 4 combo which is uh, amazing for doing superb damage and let's do the soft right 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 so Okay, so as you can see, I made a mistake and she died, but I revived again. So she has amazing survivability. She can the it is the only matter of damage, how much damage she can do. And so three minutes and we have only like four bars left. As you can see, she is uh, melting him. I don't want to clear this one but I just wanted to show you how she can do so it we are on the last bar and we almost have 3 minutes left so as you can see she is an amazing character and uh, if you are thinking to buy the deluxe package she is still a choice and she is she won't disappoint you uh, I assure you and you can always uh, uh Use her everywhere. She Shadowlands, uh, any game mode you say. So she is amazing. I and I hope you like the video, and I would like to see uh, some more comments uh, relating to the character and if uh, for any specific game mode that I will, I will be working on your requests. And as you can see, she does a tremendous job. and she did you really amazing she was always she has always been one of my favorite characters in the game 
so uh, for any future content if you want to see just comment below and i'll be working on it i'll be damn sure and i'll be really damned and uh, i will really appreciate uh, your support and um, i hope to see you again see ya